you for everything you've done for us. The guilds handling things. They'll be returned to their home, as will any others that were taken by the Black Wind. We'll work closely with Tarash in hopes of identifying those who were kidnapped. What a relief. With Kristoff and the rest of the Black Wind captured, we'll begin questioning them about their involvement with Triton. Grateful for your help. Thank you. No, thank you. We're in your debt. I wish we could repay you. So tell me, Kelvin, where are you headed off to next? To watch a fun little game. Well, fun for me at least. going on too. If the folks at the front can't make a quick retreat, turn the water to ice. Use that to overcome its natural advantage. Uh, I'll do just that. A natural advantage? By the way, Kelvin, why are you bothering to train them? Because, well, you know, no real specific reason. Huh? Melfina chose them. Maybe I feel like we owe them something. And they're from my home. I was convinced you were raising their levels so you could have a rematch. <laughs> Actually, yeah, let's go with that answer. Only if you let me join next time. Oh. We did it! We slayed the beast! Okay. Let's break for food. I have a nice lunch ready for everybody if you're feeling hungry. I can eat it all in one go. Thank you for feeding us. Hooray! Must stress eat. You've got to be more like BAM or a POW or throw in a THWACK for good measure. Huh? You lost me. Be more what? Sarah, do me a favor and fish. Here you go. I'll take one over here! More like two of them, actually. So, what were we talking about? With the Demon King revived, the dungeon bosses have become even stronger. Oh yeah! Colette did mention that to us. Wait, Colette? She's... The Daramus Priestess. Yep. The one responsible for summoning us into this world. The whole experience was so surreal. We were confused when it happened. I was talking to the three of them in the classroom at school, when a magic circle appeared on the floor and everything went black. And suddenly, the goddess appeared. Next thing we knew, we found ourselves waking up inside the Daramus Cathedral. Mm hmm So you were teleported. I see. Toya, if your team struggles against an Octo Gigant, what will you do against the Rank S Dungeon Boss? I realize we're not strong enough to win yet. We'll run. Hope you still got an appetite, because I missed you from something big! Step foot in my cave and disturb my slumber. Rank S. A boss. Are you sure? You can always run, but those who live around here will suffer. I'll start off with a bam! Followed by a pow! pow! No more getting into reckless battles. I won't let my party die for nothing. I may get called a disgrace, but I'll train and come up with a plan for our safety. Then we'll win. <laughs> you all passed. <laughs> Don't forget what you said, because I won't. Okay, time to get some after lunch exercise. <laughs> Me too, yeah! You just received permission to leave port? In a rush to go? Actually, we were supposed to start our journey back several days ago. Also, I believe we may have caused you and your friends more than enough trouble. You didn't inconvenience us, I assure you. Take these, a parting gift. You got us all pendants? Yeah, made them myself. 
Think of them as good luck charms. My teacher. No, Kelvin. Thank you, and all of you. I can promise, the next time we meet, we'll be much stronger. <laughs> I'll be counting on your leadership, Toya. Those adventurers were the stuff of legends. They downed a rank S dungeon boss like it was nothing. Yeah. Makes me wonder if I'll be like that one day. Something wrong? You seem pensive. Nah, say Gerard. Your home was called Al Carl, right? And it was the Lysia Empire on the Western continent that destroyed it? Yes, my king. If we picked a fight with them now, do you think we'd have a decent chance? You remembered what I said. At first, I never really thought it was possible. But now we have a bigger party and can defeat rank S monsters. There aren't many who could best us in combat. The wish I once thought was hopeless now feels like it's within reach. My king, you have my gratitude. I, I'm not... I... Don't worry. Until then, let's see what foes this continent still has to offer us. Yes, sounds like a plan. You know, my king, there aren't many of your caliber. Calvin really has such a generous and kind spirit. Hmm? You didn't have to give those pendants to the heroes. They carry a very mild stat boost for the user, as well as an additional secret function. Here's hoping to never have to use them. Huh? Slam! What'd you overhear Gavin about? <laughs> Gee, Sarah! What's the big deal, huh? There's a messenger from that guildmaster what's-her-name here to deliver some news. She says somebody wants to meet with you. <laughs> Finally, they requested us. Uh, who were you waiting for? We came to Taraj for a reason. Surely you remember. For the beach! No! Fishing! Wrong again! Precious rice! Sweet grains! I must have them now! We pummeled the Black Wind. We defeated a rank ass boss. It was only a matter of time before they reached out. Taraja's king wants to see us! The architecture. It almost looks Japanese. I'm told the first ruler of Taraj came from another world, same as the heroes. Which probably explains the castle's shape and why the exterior is so unique. I wonder if he was also summoned by a priestess or if he came here some other way. Apparently there's more than one way. I don't know the details, but I've heard of rare occasions where it happened. Wait, is this Tatami? Rank A Adventurer, I bid you welcome. A learned man, I see you know about the Tommy. I am the current ruler of the Toraj Nation. I'm Fujiwara Tsubaki. It's an honor. I'm the leader of this adventurer party. Call me Kelvin. Fujiwara? She's definitely Japanese. And the first person I met with a family name. Look at her. She's so dignified. <laughs> Surely she's not some common adventurer. Perhaps a daughter of a nobleman? Mm. Mm. Noble? I'm a former demon princess, you know. Of course I know how to act like one. If you played your role more, people wouldn't be so shocked. No way. It's tiring. You have my thanks. Mm. Both for destroying the Black Wind Bandits, as well as defeating the boss residing in the Dragon Marine Caves. Please, raise your heads. I've never been that keen on formalities. Under normal circumstances, the entire country would hold a celebration in honor of your recent activities. Unfortunately, this involves Trison. We can't tell the people what happened just yet. But still, for your deeds, I would very much like to repay you. If there's something your heart desires, simply name it. If that's the case, I have been told that a crop grows here and never leaves the border. If your highness would allow me the rights to purchase it. Uh -huh. Is that all you want? Status, honor, money, they could all be yours. I'm offering you anything within my grasp, but above all else, what you desire is to taste a regional crop? If I may, we are simple adventurers. We merely desire to remain free and hold no debts. That being said, we'd never turn down the opportunity for a delicious meal. 
you a fascinating man. And here I was assuming that you would be as greedy as Trison's hero. What hilarity. You're free to have as much as you'd like, no payment necessary. And if you ever run out, just send me a letter. Your stores will never be empty. How very cruel of you, Your Majesty. You were testing me. Never. I didn't mean anything by it. Forgive me. Now then, I hope you don't mind. But I've had a small banquet prepared for all of us. Eat and drink to your heart's content. Could this be? There it is! Please, don't wait. Eat as much as you'd like. After finally getting my rice, I had my fill of those gleaming white grains. Tsubaki, the ruler over this nation, even promised to send me more. How lucky. As for Ethel and the others, they were amazed by the strange Japanese dishes. And Gerard seemed to enjoy his sake, but not nearly as much as Sarah. Ethel was consumed with learning new and different recipes. Soon she should be adding Japanese cuisine to her repertoire. Hopefully she picks up some dishes that use a healthy amount of rice. I was pleasantly surprised when Queen Tsubaki invited us to stay in Taraj longer. Excuse me, Kelvin. Hmm? I have your lunch prepared. Shall I bring it in here for you? That'd be great. Hmm. Where are the others? Sarah took Clotho to the beach to show it how to fish, and Gerard said he was going outside to train. I see. <laughs> You've mastered the art of Japanese cuisine, Ethel. No question. Thank you, but I had a lot of help along the way. Queen Tsubaki gave me everything I needed to understand the dishes with books on rice and different recipes. Mm, you're cooking so good, Ethel. Queen Tsubaki, mm. it's a pleasant surprise to have you back for lunch again. Did you think I wasn't serious when I said her meals were divine? Of course I'm joining you for lunch. Even my personal chefs were impressed. And they're the ones who were providing her instruction. You flatter me, Your Majesty. Ethel's got cooking rank S, after all. As for Queen Tsubaki, isn't she supposed to be a ruler? So how about it, Kelvin? Are you sure you won't change your mind about leaving her here with me? Actually, a better idea would be if all of you just come work for Toraj. First off, Ethel's already mentioned that she doesn't want to stay. And second, my party and I really should be heading back to Parth. I'm hearing there are dangerous monsters appearing around the city and need to be taken care of. I'll just have to make another proposal, then. Why don't you stay here and become my personal caretaker? I won't lie, it can be pretty demanding, but you'll be taking care of me from morning to night in all kinds of ways. I know it's not exactly humble, but I am pretty, don't you think? Uh, I never gave it much thought. <laughs> I'm sorry, Queen Tsubaki, but our quest isn't finished yet, and I must regrettably decline! Really? You're rejecting me? Parth is known as the Calm City, and is a symbol of peace on the Eastern Continent. It's good knowing they have someone like you guarding it. If you change your mind, you're always welcome to come back and work for us. You know that, right, Ethel? <laughs> oh, yes. I'll provide you a special way to get home. Special? A teleport gate. Been a while since I've seen one of these. I remember our old house had one inside of it. Whoa. Straight out of a fantasy. Huh? Wouldn't the heroes have liked to use the gate to get to the Western Continent? If only teleportation were that simple. It requires a massive amount of magic, as well as permission from both gates' administrators. Then we've got a problem, because we never received the go-ahead from Parth. Don't be so ridiculous. If you looked more closely at your guild IDs, you'd notice you already have. The gates' administrator, Guildmaster Leo, has given you approval. Hmm. I recognize this wing mark. <laughs> that old bastard just didn't tell us. Yeah, sounds about right. The gate is opening up. Get ready to enter. Come on, you guys. Let's hurry on through and head back home to park. Welcome back, Kel. I heard the ruler of Taraj took quite a liking to you. Out of curiosity, who told you that? Ange was mentioning it to everyone she crossed paths with. <laughs> I'm not going to work for their nation. I'm much happier with the way things are now, as an adventurer. Is 
that right? Well, you'll probably thrive wherever you decide to go. You think too highly of me. Have some tea. You'll feel much better. Thank you. Since we're home again, what are your plans? We just got back from Taraj earlier. Let's take the day off. I'm going out for a while later. Oh, yeah? Doing some shopping, Cam? Mm -hmm. Weapons, items, or maybe something else? <laughs> Another pretty servant girl. <laughs> That's ridiculous. This is a real estate deal. A house! Well, here we are. Go on. What do you think? <laughs> oh, pick the biggest one, huh? So this is our castle. Imagine all the fun we can have cleaning. Bedrooms are first come, first served! Sarah, there are plenty. Trust me on that. You got it, dude. Choose whichever one you want to, Evel. Well, I, uh, kind of would like my room to be next to yours, actually. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, right, the kitchen! I want to go look! My king, I'd like to examine that basement you mentioned. Yeah, that's right. The one that would make a decent training room. Just down the stairs. All right, let's go see how spacious it is. <laughs> Everyone's so excited. Your bedroom? Do you have any preferences? Yeah! Outside, are you sure? <laughs> okay then, partner. Go on. The yard's all yours. <laughs> now then. Here it is in all its glory. The reason I picked this house. I can finally take a bath. They're here. How funny running into you! Luca, would you please mind your manners? We didn't travel here to play. <sighs> you will have to forgive my daughter. There's no need. We're hiring them to help us around the property. Didn't we meet both of them back in Taraj? I placed an ad. They decided to apply. Starting today, we'll be working here as your maids. My name is Ellie. This is my daughter, Luca. Hi again! <laughs> <sighs> oh man, do I love taking hot baths. I'll be in the tub every single day. I have a home. Who would have thought? It feels like I've come a long way. New bed. Feels kind of strange sleeping in it. Never in a million years did I imagine I'd miss the old worn-out cots back at the Spirit Song Inn. I should pay them a visit. At least for some of Claire's cooking. You sure took your time coming back from your trip. I didn't even have to bother saying anything. <laughs> Don't ask me to explain, but somehow I just knew you'd be returning today. My apologies, love. It took longer than I thought to adjust this body to my needs. No worries. I can summon you now, right? Yes! <laughs> and I'm ready to catch your heart when it jumps out of your chest! <laughs> Feels like a long time since I've had a conversation like this. Melfina. Didn't I? Mm -hmm. 